Okay. So a very interesting question was asked by one of the member on the channel that how positive pressure ventilation means how mechanical ventilation affects the preload and afterload on the heart. So basically, if you need to understand this, you need to understand the difference between a normal breath, which the patient is taking spontaneously and the breath, which is given by the ventilator. So in normally when I am breathing or any patient who is not on ventilation, when he or she breathes, so like this, what happens? We suck the air and the intrathoracic pressure becomes negative and it pulls the venous return from abdomen and from all over the body. So in a normal breath, which is not on mechanical ventilation, the intrathoracic pressure decreases and there is a uh, increase in the venous return, which is called as preload. So anything which is coming towards the heart is called as preload and the pressure and the resistance against which the heart has to pump out, it, it is called afterload. So we'll look at right heart chambers and left heart chambers. Now in positive pressure ventilation or invasive mechanical ventilation, whenever you put the patient on endotracheal tube and you pump the air, so in inspiration, you push the air towards the ventilator. So what happens? The intrathoracic pressure rises. So when the intrathoracic pressure rises, we are first we'll talk about right side chambers, RARV. So whenever intrathoracic pressure rises, the venous returns decreases from intra-abdominal part, compartment or from the superior vena cava. Because of the positive pressure in the intrathoracic uh, area, the venous return decreases. So the preload of the right heart, right heart, right heart chambers will decrease. So preload of right-sided heart or preload of RV will decrease. Now for afterload, the right heart chambers has to push the blood towards the lung, into the lung. Because now, because you are giving positive pressure ventilation and intrathoracic pressure is high, so the right heart has to pump to a higher pressure zone into the lung. So the afterload will increase for right heart chambers. So in positive pressure ventilation, if we take uh, consider right heart chambers, so preload will decrease because intrathoracic pressure rises, and afterload will increase again because of the intrathoracic pressure rises. Now let's consider the left heart chambers. So LV has to take the blood from the lungs, which is returning from the lung, from the pulmonary artery and pulmonary veins, which, which are returning. So because the pre afterload is decreased, from which, uh, uh, from which is coming from the uh, right ventricle towards the uh, lung and from lungs to LV, because in positive pressure ventilation, the afterload uh, is increased so right heart is not able to pump that much amount of blood or if it is pumping it is pumping against the pressure and this blood is going towards the lung and from to the LV so preload of LV will also decrease got it in positive pressure ventilation because the afterload is increased of RV so less blood is able to traverse the uh, lungs or against the resistance and which is reaching the LV so preload of LV will decrease now the LV has to pump the blood outside into the body, not into the lung. And the LV is a muscular wall. So that is afterload. Right heart was pumping the blood to the lung and it, it, uh, afterload was increasing. But LV, left ventricle has to pump the blood towards the body into the aorta, squeeze the blood from the ventricles to the aorta. Now what is happening, The when the LV squeezes the blood, and the intrathoracic pressure which comes as a positive pressure ventilation during mechanical ventilation, this positive pressure also helps to uh, increase the lung uh, LV a little more. So after load of LV gets decrease. That's why a patient uh, of uh, LV failure or whenever you put the patient on mechanical ventilation, the after load gets decreased and the LV uh, left ventricle ejection functions uh, will bit increase a little bit. So, again, whenever you take a patient on uh, invasive mechanical ventilation, the preload of the right ventricle will decrease, afterload of right ventricle will increase, preload of left ventricle will decrease, and afterload of LV will also get decreased because of the squeezing effect of positive pressure ventilation on LV. So, if you want to remember in short, only the after load of RV is increased, otherwise all other three, preload of RV, preload of LV, after load of LV, all get decreased. So 
i hope i am able to clarify a little bit about this now just go on the google or any other website you can uh, search the effect of mechanical ventilation on uh, heart or on the hemodynamics of the patient you will get a beautiful diagram uh, where uh, preload and afterload is explained so do read more about it thank you